Okay, uh, guys, we're back for part two here. Um, I'm definitely long-winded, as you guys know, if you've been through the through the training course. But I, again, want to go slow so that we, you know, make sure everybody gets all this. Uh, we're doing some cleanup and changes on uh, one of uh, our members' uh, websites, and we just went ahead and centered our uh, H3 title tag in this widget area. Uh, by altering our CSS style sheet, which um, will center every title in the widget bar from now on. Um, now, again, like I said, uh, the way Tim has this set up, his about page, his about us is his main page. And, you know, um, you know, you guys can, you know, you can set, you set your websites up the way you want to set them up. Um, I would advise creating a tab for about us or about me and putting it over here on your uh, menu, Tim, and then just creating this page, just changing this and making this your main page. So it could, you know, you could have, you know, you know, Lincoln School of Music instead of about us, you know, you could change that to whatever and that would be your H1 tag on your home page. Uh, that's what I would suggest. But again, um, uh, we're just going through and you know pointing out some things uh the next thing that uh we want to do for tim here let's go down i went ahead and expanded this now so we, let's go down here and concentrate on our policy our policy um statements here this is at the very bottom of his footer here now he wanted to get the we want to get this centered and make sure that it's all set up right so let's go back over here to well, actually, let's click on one. Let's go to our privacy policy, for instance, and it's gonna. And this is a plugin that I did. I um, share with you guys in the course and show you how to set it up. And he's got it set up here, and you can see privacy policy, um, and what are cookies, IP addresses. It gives you a lot of stuff in here, and we can go down through it. This looks kind of long here. This is wait a minute. Okay, he's got it twice here, Tim. Okay, he's got it twice. Uh, so let's let's take a let's see what's going on with his privacy policy. Um, let's go to pages, and let's go down here to and find his privacy policy page. Here it is. And the plugin creates all the text for you. Uh, I know you have to do is go in and put, you know, information specific to you. You can see he's gone in here and he's put information specific to him. And it looks, okay, so this looks good here. I don't know why it's showing twice. It's showing twice though on, uh, it's doubled up here. Um, so what's going on here? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I see what he did here. Look at this here. Okay. This is a short code here. So what he, what, what's going on here is the reason it's double is because you have the short code in here and you have the text in here as well. And you don't need both. That's why it's double. This right here actually gives you all of the text and everything you have in here so let me show you guys how this works let's go over here to our uh, settings and let's go to WP policies this is the actual plugin that's installed here and as you can see the, these are the ones that he's created here what you do here is you you just go in here it gives you these and you can just create once you create them, uh, you all you have to do is take this the the code, whatever the file name is, dot dat, and as you can see, it was privacy policy dot dat, and you put this code only into your page. Let's look at our privacy policy. Let's go to edit. Let's say we wanted to edit our privacy policy page. See right here. Here's the code privacy policy dot dat this is all you need to put in a page you create a page and you put this in the page it will spit out all of this information here and this is where you 
customize what you want it to say. It's all there for you. You just have to put in, you know, your website and all your information. So all you really need is this. You don't need this and this. Okay. So let's go back and we'll just do one here. Let's go back to pages and let's go down to our privacy policy since that's the one we're looking at. And then once we get into our privacy policy here, it's taking its time here. We'll be able to, this is really bothering me. We're going to fix this bulletproof security. Um, so let's go down here and we're going to take all of this, we can go all the way to the top and we're just going to take that out. Okay. And actually you should, you should be in text area when you do this. This is visual. This is text. The HTML is your text. You put it in under in the HTML on the HTML side and this theme is showing it as text. Some it'll show HTML. Make sure you put it in like that. Let's go ahead and update this. And then that's taking its time on that we have a slow network or something. Let's go back to the page. I'm going to refresh the privacy policy page and we should have all of our information here. What are cookies, IP address, da da da, all the information. And as you can see, it's shortened now. So that's what was going on. That's what's going on with your, um, with your, pages there Tim um, so we just did the privacy policy you can go back through and do the rest because I'm sure now if we go look at our terms it's probably going to be doubled up as well because you have terms of use intellectual property da, da, da. see intellectual property right so the same thing you've done the same thing there and that so again just go into that into that page and um, you'll be able to remove and just leave in the short code there and that will suffice that should do the trick for you okay so that's what we have there now let's go ahead since we're we're dealing with these is get these get all this centered okay and this is you can see I can tell you right now this is going to be in his footer area so let's go back to dashboard. We're going to go into our appearance themes and we're going to go into our editor. Okay. And now we're going to go into our footer because that's where that's located. And it's way at the bottom. So we got to assume it's in the footer. Let's go in here. And it is. And as you can see right here, what he's done is created basically clickable links like I show you in the course. The only reason this isn't centered, Tim, is because it's just not centered. You have to put the code in here. So let's put center right before it because as you can see contact is the first thing that it's spitting out. The next one is going to be privacy and so forth. So we're going to put a center there and at the end of this attribute here just within the body we're going to end the center okay and then we're going to update that okay let's go back to the site and refresh it and as you can see now we're centered it's I don't it's way at the bottom okay so let's do one other thing let's go back in here we're still on our footer and of course uh, you made a copy you select it all and copy this before you started messing with it right just I just like to keep saying that so let's let's put some space in here let's go here at the end of that and hit a return and let's just put a page let's just put like an extra page there and see if we can um, bring that up in fact let's do this let's uh, and you know I really have to do that I could just do this I guess just put two pages in there kind of like a page break I guess or whatever you want to call it let's go back to the site now and see how we're at the very bottom I'm gonna refresh this and this is just gonna give it a little a little daylight 
see how it just gave us a little daylight there um, so that it's not like way at the bottom okay so that takes care of that and of course you can remove this stuff if you want to as well that's you know all that's I'm not gonna get bogged down but all that's in the course that's all in here too and let's see what else do we need to go through here and show you what to do um, I think that's it for that. What I want to do real quick here is is go through and do a little thing here and show you how to get your bulletproof security set up. Um, and it's when you see this, it's telling you right here, you know, that um, it's just not right. So if you go, let's click on the security status page and take a look at and see what's what's going on here. And we you can see we have a lot of of red when you see red red is bad green is good right um, and of course the way you would get to that is just go to bulletproof security um, we're on the security status tab and it's showing us here and if, now in the course I show you guys how to do this <clears throat> and it, it can be a little convoluted but um, to, to when you go to your security status page and you start seeing stuff like this and it's telling you here HTS the HT access file is not found um, it's not protected it wasn't found in the admin folder you have to actually go in here and enable and set those up so let's go to security modes and the first thing you want to do is click on bulletproof mode okay and uh, activate it just say okay it's gonna go through that was bulletproof mode okay let's go down after you do that one you want to activate the admin uh, folder the HT access one okay because it, it was telling us that that one wasn't there let's activate that it's probably all we need to do there so we have that one that one then we have well let's let's take a look we did the first two so let me just show you real quickly if we go back to status see how all that red went away so it's showing now that it's seen them it's still showing us here that we haven't done the backup part that and so you still have some red over here so let's go back over here to security mode because we did the first two and just go down the line really see it's telling you here and let's activate that and then we have one we have we should have one more to do let's go back to security status you can see yeah we still have the one that says backed up let's go back here and that should be the backup one here okay so let's go ahead and click that one and let's activate that one it looked like it was just a matter of uh, I'm assuming that they weren't activated so let's go back here and now we still have okay now we still have some red here the current root file is not backed up yet. Okay. So let's go back our um, backup and restore. And um, back up your current HTTPS. You could back it up here, and this is where you would go to restore it here and back up the master one here so let's go ahead and do this one okay and let's do the backup let's see if that if that goes quickly okay and it's the master file has not been back say so there that's backed up and it says right here the master file has not been backed up and let's go here it says back up your master file not restore, just back. Make sure you, it's just back up. Let's see if that takes care of that. Okay, so that's that's all green. It you know let it it tells you exactly what's going on here. As you can see now, we're all green here. It tells you exactly what's going on here, guys. So when you see some red, you say just read it. Say okay, what is it? And then just find it. I really like bulletproof security. It's 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 um. It can be, you know, when changes and updates and stuff come out, 
and you're not up to date, you are going to see those red warning signals. Um, so just go in and handle it. Um, okay, so that is pretty much everything that um, we talked about, Tim. I hope this helped. And I hope this helps um, the rest of you guys too in some form or fashion just to kind of show you that you can do this. It's just a matter of getting focused, stay focused, stay faithful on this stuff. And as you can see, you'll get through it. Um, going to be putting together something here pretty soon um, where I'm going to offer a service where I'll go in and I'll set everything up for you. I'll go in, I'll install and um, everything, give you guys all the plugins that I recommend so that you have a, f a fresh slate fresh slate to work with so when you come in you can just start building um, so that's something I'm gonna be putting together if, if any guys are interested in it beforehand you can just send me an email on it um, and again um, come by visit the site for those of you who are seeing this I think we're gonna put this up on one of our YouTube channels as uh, since we had a training opportunity um, stop by you know check out the free videos um, join up and you guys are going to get uh, some of the best training you can get on WordPress in our members area here right now over 60 uh, six videos and building and uh, we add this one to it and so again I hope that helps and uh, we'll be talking to you see you guys uh, later stay focused bye bye